Moisture increasing from the Gulf of Mexico with south winds returning. This is from LaBerge Casino in Lake Charles, our SkyCam network. Looking nice outside with, again, lots of clouds moving across. Can't see them in the dark, of course, but you can see them from our infrared satellite that is hovering about 22,000 miles up in outer space, and it works off of temperature. The high clouds are very cold because the higher they go, the colder they get, so they show up really nice and white, bright white. The low-level clouds, you can kind of see those, mid-level, low-level clouds kind of moving in from the Gulf of Mexico, and again, that could give us with that moisture increase, some patchy fog overnight tonight and toward tomorrow morning. Temperatures around the area right now 69 degrees over in Kirbyville, 62 in Silsby, 63 in Port Arthur, still 71 though in Dayton, and 69 up around DeRitter, De Louisiana. Only into the 50s up in the Panhandle, 61 in El Paso, 66 in San Antonio. Bet the river walk's still a little bit chilly to jump into, huh? 64, though, in Houston. The dry air that's off to the northwest, as we've had it in place for a long time with that low humidity starting to moisten up again with those southerly winds returning. So again, the graph shows that moisture in the atmosphere increasing across our area, and that again is going to be very conducive for fog overnight tonight. Cloud cover also thickening up overnight tonight. We'll call it mostly cloudy. Lows will be back down into the upper 50s to near 60 for the Triangle, mid 50s for the Lakes area, then highs tomorrow rebound into the 70s. And again, it looks like these showers are going to be about a 20% coverage for tomorrow. Better coverage of rain though on Saturday and early Sunday morning. I'll show you that in just a second. I'll break it down for you. Low tree pollen, no weed pollen, no grass pollen, and very low on the mold. So we're looking good for the allergies index as well. In the meantime, our uh, offshore forecast is going to be calling for the water temperature up one degree from yesterday, 57 now. And we're going to see mostly cloudy skies with that 20% coverage of shower possible, even offshore in the Gulf. East winds at 10 knots and seas running 1 to 2 feet. First low tide coming up at 925 in the morning. Patchy fog with mostly cloudy skies. Again, we'll be looking for south winds on the light side overnight tonight. Again, that fog may take a little while to burn off for in the morning. Maybe it takes 9 or 10 o'clock before it finally lifts and burns off. And otherwise, mid-50s for the lakes area, upper 50s to near 60 for the Triangle and near the coast. Then mostly cloudy, 20% coverage of showers possible. Lows in the low seven, highs are in the low 70s uh, for the lakes area, mid-70s for the Triangle and sun setting at 524 these days. There's that 20% for tomorrow with a high of 74. 78 for a high on Saturday, but check this out. Even though the frontal battery is not coming in until Sunday morning, it looks like we're going to see a lot of rain and wind coming in from the Gulf of Mexico, gust of 25, and it looks like it's going to be a Saturday washout with 70% coverage of rain coming up all day, periods of that off and on, then colder air moving in. Now, Sunday morning, that frontal battery will go through. Still some rain behind that front, but it will end by noontime, and we'll look for decreasing cloudiness by Sunday afternoon. 30s back in the forecast for lows Monday, Tuesday, and New Year's morning. Yellow for the weekend. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Oh, my. That's another very exciting. rainy day for New Year's Day. How about that's that? Snow Thank like you very see. much. Rainy and cold this time. Oh, I bet he's going to beat up on the Cowboys.